It's a dark and chilly night in Los Angeles, and you're scrolling through your social media feed. Suddenly, a post catches your eye, and it's a photo of a young woman with dark hair and bright blue eyes, and the caption reads The Black Dahlia, the unsolved murder that still haunts Los Angeles. You're intrigued, and you click on the link to learn more. This is the story of Elizabeth Short, a 22-year-old aspiring actress who moved to Los Angeles from Boston in the hopes of making it big in Hollywood. She had a dream of becoming famous, but her life was cut short in the most brutal and gruesome way imaginable. On January 15, 1947, a woman went out for a walk in a vacant lot in Los Angeles stumbled upon a grisly scene. The body of a young woman was lying on the ground, bisected at the waist and posed in a grotesque position. The woman's face had been mutilated and slashed from the corners of her mouth to her ears, giving her a twisted grin. The police were called, and they soon identified the victim as Elizabeth Short. The investigation into Short's murder was intense and all-consuming. The police interviewed potential witnesses and suspects, and they followed up on every lead that came their way. One of the first leads they pursued was a letter sent to the Los Angeles Examiner, claiming to be from the killer and providing details about the murder that had not been released to the public. The letter was signed Black Dahlia Avenger and included a piece of Short's clothing as proof of the writer's involvement. However, the police were never able to trace the letter to a credible suspect. Another lead the police pursued was a man named Robert Red Manley, who had been in a romantic relationship with Short in the weeks leading up to her murder. Manley was interviewed multiple times by the police and eventually passed a lie detector test, but there was never enough evidence to charge him with the crime. Despite the large amount of resources and effort put into the investigation, the police were never able to identify or apprehend the perpetrator of the crime. The investigation went cold over the years, but it was never officially closed, and the case remains unsolved to this day. In recent years, some researchers have criticized the way the case was handled, suggesting that the police were overzealous in their pursuit of leads and that they may have missed important clues. One of the possible clues that the authorities might have missed is the letters and the package sent by the alleged killer to the press was not thoroughly examined for fingerprints or other clues. Another potential clue is that the police did not seem to have considered or searched for suspects among the people who knew Elizabeth Shortwell or those who worked in the places where she would frequent. Despite the passage of time and the lack of closure, the Black Dahlia murder continues to capture the imagination of true crime enthusiasts. The brutal and gruesome nature of the crime, combined with the fact that it remains unsolved, makes it the stuff of legend. As of today, Elizabeth Short's killer is still at large, but the investigation continues. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest true crime content. Who knows, maybe one day we'll finally solve the mystery of the Black Dahlia murder.